Okay, let's uh, talk about um, sandwiching. For those of who have shot transparency film, sandwiching was a very cool effect. You shoot two different exposures, put two pieces of slides together in the same mount. You get this very cool three-dimensional, very high contrast kind of look. Um, you can do it to an extent in digital. You can't get the exact look, but you can get the, the basic feel. I mean, some things, some techniques are, are pretty much um, are left in a certain medium. The sandwich looks a certain way. The slide sandwich in film is a separate animal from slide sandwiching or sandwiching in digital, but you can't get the same, the same basic look. So let's take a run at it here. Here's our shot. It works very good with flowers, by the way. Um, many ways to do it. This is, a, this is um, one of the most popular ways and one of the most easiest. You begin with your image and then you just drag the background and duplicate the layer. On this layer, you go to Image, Apply Image, and then go to Blending Mode Screen. You can go to Blending Mode in the Layers palette, but it looks different, it looks darker, doesn't look quite as good. So you do it in Apply Image. That gives you the effect of overexposing one of the, one of the slides. Just hit OK there, and then you duplicate the copy that you just did and make a copy of, of, of the apply image uh, file. At this point, we're going to go into multiply to darken it up. And then we'll say filter. We'll go to Gaussian blur. And the default here is 22. You find that between, you can move this slider around now. To subtract the effect, that's the original, and that's as far as it can go. Yeah, it looks real flat, just horrible, like a substrate almost. But I find that uh, somewhere between between 15 and say 30 is a really good range, depending on the subject. You know, so somewhere in that area, but you'll find that most of the time. If you go somewhere around like like 20 something like anywhere in there that gives you a, a pretty good sandwich look and here's here's the preview button here's off and that's the sandwich effect it, it has that kind of glow that the um, uh, slide transparency uh, sandwich had not quite as profound but um, it's not bad and uh, we use it to get that effect let's go a little higher here yeah it's not bad and there's your before and there's after and we'll okay that out. Now that we have this, if you want to accentuate it a little bit more, since we have the sandwich on this image already, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go into um, to Nick, um, Color Effects 3, and this has a, a very cool filter called Glamour Glow. There are several that will accentuate the uh, sandwich look. But um, let's take Glamour Glow from here and see what this does. It's taking a while to come in. Come on, guys. Here we go. And we'll go to Glamour Glow. We're looking at this right here. Okay, you know what I forgot? I forgot to flatten. I do that a lot, and I'm sure you do too. Let's go in here and flatten this. And now we will go to Filter, Nick Software, Color Effects 3.0, and it should come a little bit faster this time. Okay, here it comes. Okay, let's go into Glamour Glow here. And there we are. You see, now it's got that little light, like halo, like you will get with slide sandwiches. Let's um, let's bring the glow up a little bit more. Mhm. Mm Saturation back down, lighten it up a little bit, and hold down the space bar, and click on the image, and that's before, and that's after. This image has more of these 
the digital like slide sandwich look. Notice how black the contrast is around here. That has the effect of being a, a, a defocused image. This is, is more of the um, um, the true sandwich effect than than this straight digital look uh, with with two uh, two files. Going in with Nick with Glamour Glow specifically. Can, can really punch that up to look like a, a, a true uh, slide sandwich image. And let's OK this out. And as it's writing, you get a last glimpse of what it looked like right before we went into Glamour Glow. Here we go. That has the appearance of, of a slide sandwich. Notice the whites are a bit hot. That would be the effect of shooting an image that's plus two. If you overexpose white, by two stops, you're blowing it out. But then the one that's overexposed by one, for you film shooters out there, would preserve detail. That's why you have a little bit of each in each of these petals here. But that's more of the, um, and I always flatten things out when I'm done. That's the, um, the digital sandwich followed by the, um, the Glamour Glow Edition, which gives it more of the uh, true sandwich look.